The Temuan people Temuan, Yuang, Ying Temuan, Malaysian, Orang Temuan are a proto-Malay ethnic group indigenous to western parts of peninsular Malaysia. They can be found in the states of Selangor, Pahang, Johor, Negri Sembilan and Malacca. The Temuans are classified as part of Orang Asli group according to the Malaysian government. They are also one of the largest numbering to almost 30,000 people and the most widespread of the Orang Asli ethnic groups. They speak Temuan, an Austronesian language closely related to Malay. Like other indigenous tribes in Malaysia, most Temuans live in poverty. Topic. Population Topic. The changes in the population of the Temuan people in Malaysia Topic. Flood legend Topic. Thousands of years ago, many Temuan people died because they had committed selau, the sins that angered God and their ancestors, as it is also called Talon in Samak Beri language. Their God has sent a selau punishment in a form of a great flood which had drowned all the Temuan sinners that day. Only two of the Temuans, named Mamak and Anak Bungsuk survived that day by climbing at Eaglewood Tree at Gunning Raja Royal Mountain, located at the border of Selangor and Pahang State. There was a Temuan village over there named Kampung Orang Asli Pertak. Mamak and Anak Bungsuk survived because they had an enchanting mantra or spell to ease down the Selau storm. Gunning Gajak Gunning Raja, Pahang, Malaysia became the birthplaces and ancestral home of the Temuan tribe. Mamak Bungsuk Adam and Anak Bungsuk Eve are the Temuan analogues of Adam and Eve in the myth of the birth of humanity. Topic: <laughs> Language. Topic: The Temuans have their own language called the Temuan language or Bahasic Temuan. It is distinct but closely related to the Malay language spoken by their Malay neighbors. The Temuan language is a Malayan language spoken by the majority of the Temuan people. It is essentially a spoken language with several dialectal variation. Temuan is divided into two major dialects namely Balandas and Mantra which differs mostly in terms of phonology and also some of the vocabulary but still mutually intelligible to one another. Temuan is mostly written in the Latin alphabet although no standard orthography has been made. Topic. Comparison between Balandas and Mantra dialects Topic. Example of Temuan Balandas dialect, Dayak he, she, Hajik only, Katak we, tai, the end of sentence particle. Example of Temuan Mantra dialect, Deen he, she, Hajin only, Kaitan we, T the end of sentence particle. Religion A basic traditional Temuan belief is that their god and ancestors are always present with them, guarding their safety. At the end of every year, the Temuans celebrate Aik Gayak Muyang Ancestor Day in English. This celebration is to thank their god and ancestors for the crops they grow and for the peaceful life they have had. The Temuans believe they were placed on the earth Tana Tuju by Muyang God to be guardians of the rain forest and that if they fail in their sacred duty, the whole world will turn upside down and humanity will perish. Each river, hill, stream, rock, tree and shrub is animated by a guardian spirit. Rivers are guarded by dragons Naga and snakes Alar which often cause mayhem if their homes are desecrated. The Temuans' culture reflects their belief in these nature spirits. Their animism takes the form of taboos, herbal remedies, ritual ceremonies and magic. They have dukan healers and a village bomo shaman who, when in a trance state, communicates with the nature spirits. It is the shaman who leads the tribe in the annual sawai or sewing, an ancient earth healing ritual to honor their ancestors and appease the guardian spirits. Although today the Temuans mostly adhere to their animistic beliefs, the rest have now largely converted to either Christianity or Islam. This happens especially when Temuans married with people outside of their ethnic groups, whether it's with the Malays, Chinese or other ethnic groups in the country. Topic. Culture Topic. Topic. Celebrations. Topic. Topic. 
Aik Muyang Ancestor Day. Topic: The Temuans celebrate Aik Muyang Ancestor Day at the end of the year and the beginning of New Year. Aik Muyang honoring their ancestor for giving them good life and save from Selau storm. The celebration take place in different day between the 15th of December to the 15th of January. List of places and its Aik Gayak Muyang celebration dates. Kampung Arang Asli Pulau Kempas, Selangor, every 29 December. Kampung Arang Asli Sungai Melat, Denkil, Selangor, every 30 December. Kampung Arang Asli Bukit Tadam, Selangor, every 31 December. Kampung Arang Asli Puchong, Selangor, every 31 December. Kampung Arang Asli Langkap Tanjung Ipo, Negri Sembilan, every 31 December. Kampung Orang Asli Hulu Kuang, Rawang, Selangor, every 1 January. Kampung Orang Asli Bukit Machung, Hulu Selangor District, Selangor, every 9 January. Kampung Orang Asli Surenda, Hulu Selangor District, Selangor, every 14 January. Gogo Bogging Gogo Bogging is village ceremonial dancing. When the Temuan get married their will organized Gogo at between 8 p.m. until 7 a.m. the next day. The live band will play the music and every people from other village join to dance. Topic. Customs Topic. Some traditional superstitions still held by Temuans Respect for their elders, bad luck is said to strike those who fail in this. They do not praise a baby, in the belief that it would make the child sick and die. If a Temuan is traveling and a little rain falls, he must slip a leaf into his ear to protect himself on his journey. If a Temuan desires something he cannot get, he must say Pina Hunan and put their saliva on his neck, in the belief that failure to do so would result in an accident. A Temuan who must leave a meal in a hurry without eating food must tempot touch the food to his skin before leaving, in the belief that failure to do so would result in an accident or death. A Temuan must stay quiet during thunderstorm. If he makes noise, the thunder god will mistake him for a devil and strike him. Temuans believe that a thunder strike occurs when the thunder god is hunting devils. That is why they must stay quiet, to prevent the thunder god from striking at them. A murderer will be haunted by his victim's ghost. Stay away from a place that was haunted, to avoid being disturbed by an evil spirit. Topic. Hierarchy structure Topic. Baton, Temuan leader Manku, Baton assistant temporary replacing Baton when the Baton away from the village Jenning, customary leader Mentiyak, Baton advisor Mentiyak judgment is not influenced by the Baton Jekara, Jekara duty to take care of Enikbua, Mon Panglimic, Panglimic is Jekara vassal Bidan, Bomo, Dukan, Temuan shaman Enikbua, Mon, ordinary Temuan people Topic. Food Topic. Typical Temuan food are usually cooked in bamboo. Temuan dishes are such as Catfish tempoyak cooked with semimok leaf Ubi with para fruit Lamang Lepit banana leaf Ulam salad with sambal Topic. Traditional medicine Topic. The Temuan people also possess knowledge in traditional medicine. There are also those from the city folks who would seek consultation from the Orang Asli to cure their illness and problems. Among of the illness that the Temuan shaman could cure are such as fever, diarrhea, blood clot, kidney disease and many more by using herbs or animal-based medicine. Examples of herbs used Auricularia auricula judae intermitomyces clypetus for curing fever. Polyalthia bullata for diabetes and to increase libido. Andrographis paniculata for hypertension and diabetes, and its roots for hematochesia. 
Parkia speciosa for toothache, hypertension and diabetes, it is also known that the Temuan people themselves have begun to cultivate some of the herbs as an indication of the common health problems faced by them. Examples of such species that have been cultivated by the Temuan people instead of gathering them from the wild are Azadiracta indica for measles Aloe barbadensis for dandruff, hair loss and burns Alpenia galangia for skin infection Cocos nucifera for fever and measles Curcuma longa for acne and pimples Hibiscus rosa sinensis for gray hair Zingiber officinale for fever and flatulence. The common method of administering the herbs by the Temuan people are by consuming the decoction of the roots orally, such as the Polyaldia bullata, Andrographis paniculata, Parkia speciosa, Zingiber officinale, and many more. Other methods of administering the herbs include eating, rubbing, chewing, bathing, shampooing, and poultice. Some herbs have multiple methods of administering its medicinal properties to treat for different illness. For example, root decoction of Alpenia conchigera is used as a shampoo to clean fleas on the head, its leaves are used as poultice to treat boils and post-childbirth swelling on the stomach, while its rhizome can be pounded as rubbing for bone ache, and also powdered to be mixed with water as poultice for stomach ache. There are also many of the city folks that uses love potion. Minyak pengasa, literally means love oil, from the orang asli shamans. Minyak pengasa are among the most popular item obtained from the services of the Orang Asli shamans. The function of the oil is to regain the feelings of lost loved ones. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Settlement area. Topic: <inaudible> Some of the settlements that the Temuan people are located includes Kampung Sungai Kalubi, Hulu Selangor District, Selangor. Bukit Lanjan, Damansara Perdana, Petaling Jaya, Selangor Kampong Kuala Pangsoon, Hulu Longot District, Selangor Broga, Semenyi, Selangor Kampung Pai Libar, Sungai Lui, Hulu Longot District, Selangor RPS Bukit Cheating, Kuala Longot District, Selangor RPS Kuala Kubu Baru, Selangor Kampung Bukit Tadam, Labuhan Dagong, Banting, Kuala Longot District, Selangor Kampung Busu Baru, Kuala Longot District, Selangor Kampung Gunter, Kuala Pilla District, Negri Sembilan Parat Gong, Negri Sembilan Kampung Tohor, Jelabu District, Negri Sembilan Kampung Bukit Payong, Malacca Kampung Lubuk Bandung, Malacca Kampung Orang Asli Sungai Maring, Pakan Asahan, Malacca Kampung Orang Asli Tekar, Labu, Saramban, Negri Sembilan Kampung Orang Asli Kubang Badak, Tabong, Alor Gaja District, Malacca Kampung Orang Asli Bukit Kamandal, Genjaram, Kuala Longot District, Selangor Kampung Orang Asli Shah Alam Section 8, Taman Botanic, Selangor Bukit Kechik, Kuala Longot District, Selangor Bukit Para, Batu Kakir, Jempal District, Negri Sembilan Kampung Orang Asli Pulau Kempas, Banting, Kuala Longot District. Selangor See also Sagong Tasi References Topic Topic External Links Topic Center for Orang Asli Concerns, COAC Orang Asli Temuan website